here today. No power. Breakers are on. So now we gotta diagnose. Actually, let me see what I have. She plugged into the 120. Grab my multimeter. So now, what I'm going to test, let me see. I'll put you guys over here. Come in, take my power out. So I got hundred and twenty volts right at the plug. The fridge is not giving me nothing. Doesn't want to come on, doesn't want nothing. So, these actually have an inverter box. Looks like it's going to be back here. I'm going to pull this back panel off. Alright, so basically, what I'm going after is this little ribbon connector. It's going to the display. I'm thinking it might be corroded. Actually, it looks like it's got corrosion on the on the display itself. Plug it back in and see, see if that makes it the split light up. Not more than likely it's gonna be a display.
Yeah. It looks like it's gonna be the display. Just corroded. Alright, so I put it back in. But yeah, there's corrosion all over the back of this. And then the LEDs are coming on. The board is kicking on the compressor. And it is getting cold. It's already freezing on the bottom. Let me check. There it's cycling. So it's going to go through a cycle. And then after that cycle, see? Now I'm starting to lift. There's no water in the tray. So let it reset. I want to hear the water starts coming. You'll hear it. So I just kicked on the compressor. I do not see water flow. There's a possibility that the water valve is bad. Or that it just doesn't want to function. No, no, because it's on. Let's see if the button's working, it shuts off. What the? But I didn't get no water flow into the ice module. Normally, the first thing that goes bad on these, it's not even the electric motor, which is surprising. It's actually the heating element on the bottom to heat up to release the ice. That's the number one cause why they don't produce. This one's not even getting water flow. There's your part number. So what I'll do is, I'll order the display. Sometimes it's all file code just for the display. Inside the board, we won't let it produce. I'll order the display, get the display changed. Once I can see what it's doing, then I'll determine on the ice module. The ice module is like 400 something dollars. And then I'm gonna check water pressure right now. See there's water running in the boat. Alright, so this was the fridge that I diagnosed the other day. Where the controller does not work at all. So, yeah, what it was was just corroded extremely from the back. As you can see. All it is is just a little stick on with the frigo. And in the back, if you look, it is exposed. But yeah, all we gotta do is just swap this one out and we'll fire it back up. Super easy. This one you see. I don't know if you can see this, but but you just start getting corrosion and you just just goes bad. Oh, poor design. It looked like it. Here is the spot where it ate through. Oh, fair, fair. Oh, no, dear. <laughs> Peel this up.
back piece up. Right. So we'll slide it through. This design's not too, too good. gentle with it. I'm press it in all the way into it. Oh, it's not easy to do it here. do the connection in the back and we'll test it. Oh, so check this out. So I guess they knew about that problem and they sent this little piece of insulation that we got to glue from the back on the back side to prevent water from coming into that. Wow. Yeah, this one didn't have it from factory. I guess they're aware now of the problem. Yeah, you see? The back didn't have the sticker before. So we'll go ahead and put that on and get it plugged in. Yeah, see, that's what it looks like with the, the foam piece into it. So it doesn't get water from the back and create the corrosion. She's all plugged in. And we're going to put our protective snapping grate back in. Right, that's on there. So let's get it back in the hole. Alright, so we're going to back in action baby we're gonna let it sit there and run its cycle all right so we're gonna check up and yep we got ice cubes it wasn't making ice before it's because we needed the display to be working yeah I'm here for a lot of do. It's an ugly day. This is a Leopard 53. 